Okay, so for this lesson, we are going to be learning how to make comparisons between and then the, to find the dimensions of scale drawings, models, and actual objects. Let's just talk some definitions first. So a scale drawing is a two-dimensional drawing that accurately represents an object. The scale drawing is mathematically similar to the object. So everything's in proportion. The scale gives the ratio of the dimensions in the drawing to the dimensions of the object. All dimensions are reduced or enlarged using the same scale factor or scale. Scales can use the same units or different units. So for example, you might see different scales that look like this. So like 1 to 20, 1 centimeter is to 1 meter, 1 fourth of an inch is to a foot. So here, when it's 1 to 20 and there's no units, it means that it's written with the same unit. So here, 1 unit on the drawing is 20 units on the actual object. Here, 1 centimeter to 1 meter means every centimeter on the drawing is equal to 1 meter on the object. And here, 1 fourth inch to 1 foot means every quarter of an inch on the drawing is actually equivalent to a foot in real life. So let's just use proportions to find unknown scales or lengths. So for example, the length of an object on a scale drawing is 2 centimeters. Its actual length is 8 meters. We want to know what the scale is. So the scale is going to be 1 centimeter to so many meters. We want to know what the scale is. So here we set up a proportion, so the 1 centimeter over the x number of meters is the same as 2 centimeters over 8. Now you could cross multiply and divide. If we did that, we had 1 times 8, which is 8. Divide by 2 is 4. So here, our scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 4 meters on the actual object. Now reading scale is right, like reading our ratios, so when you see that a colon b it's read A to B. So for example, the scale 1 centimeter with the colon 4 meters is read 1 centimeter to 4 meters. So now it's your turn to find the scale. Why don't you pause the video and see if you can figure out the scale for this one. The length of an object on drawing is 4 centimeters and its actual length is 12 meters. We want to know what the scale drawing is if we start with 1 centimeter. So we cross multiply, we have 12 times 1 which is 12, divided by 4 is 3. So 3 meters is equal to um, our x, so it's going to be 1 centimeter to 3 meters is our scale factor. Now let's look at another application. Under a 1000 to 1 microscope view, an amoeba appears to have a length of 8 millimeters. We want to know what is its actual length. So here, a thousand units underneath the microscope is equal to one unit in real life. So underneath the microscope, it appears to have 8 millimeters, and we want to know how many that is in real life. So here we're going to have 8 times 1 divided by a thousand, or x is equal to... Eight thousandths or zero point zero zero eight millimeters. All right, so now it's your turn. Why don't you try this one out on your own? So here we have a ten thousand to one microscope view, and it's going to equal one millimeter to what in real life? So we do our one times our ten thousand. We get 0 0.001 millimeters. When we start talking about scales and drawings, we typically then start talking about scale models. A scale model is a three-dimensional model that accurately represents a solid object. The scale model is mathematically similar to the solid object. So let's look at our first example. A model of a 27-foot tall house was made using a 
scale of two inches to three feet. We want to know what the height is of the model. Now, one way we can do that is using scale factors. Now, I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing it this way, but it's important to understand so you can actually figure out what scale factor is. When you do a scale factor, the units are going to be the same. So since it's two inches to three feet, the first thing we have to do is actually switch it so that the units are the same. So I typically switch it always to the smaller units, meaning we're going to keep two inches, two inches, but now I'm going to change my three feet into inches. Well, each foot is 12 inches, so this becomes 36 inches. And now I could do divide by two which is where we got 1 18th. So that's the scale factor. Now that we have a scale factor, we can use a proportion to solve this. So we have 1 over 18 is equal to h over, and once again, now because we're using scale factor, we have to use that same unit, 374. So we'd have 1 times 374, and we're going to divide it by the 18. So we get about... 20.7 inches is the height of the model. Now, you wouldn't have to mess around with scale factor, which is actually the way that I'm going to suggest that you do it. So here, if we have 4 inches to 2 feet, um, and the model is 24, of a 24 foot tall bridge was made, and we were trying to find the height of the model, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a proportion. It's going to be x over 24. By doing this, I have 4 times 24, which is 96. We're just going to divide by 2. We're going to get 48 is equal to x. So the height of the model is actually 48 inches. We did it with scale factors, so it would have been 4 inches, which I'm going to switch my colors to 24 inches, which would be a 1 to 6 ratio. So then I'd have 1 over 6 is equal to x over 24. Oh, that's 24 feet, so I'd have to do 24 times 12, which would be 288. See here, there's just a lot more conversions. That's one thing I don't like about it. So now I have 288 divided by 6, and we still get 48 inches is equal to our x. So as you can see, the first one, way less work.